So now I'm gonna show you a mesocedarite that is a mixed meteorite. It's got uh, metals but also got silicate material. And um, in a broad context, this is what we expect somewhere deep in the earth, somewhere in the transition between uh, the core and the mantle, we will find that there's metals as well as silicates. And uh, these materials from the asteroid belt, they are remnants of small planetesimals. So this would be from a former little planet that uh, uh, describes the area between the core and uh, maybe the mantle region of this small planet that eventually got destroyed maybe by collapse, by collision or uh, explosion. We don't really know, but uh, this is how many of these asteroid fragments came about. So here's a specimen that's from the US. Let's have a little look at that. It's the Crab Orchard meteorite and um, it's, uh, it was found near the Crab Orchard Mountains or in the Crab Orchard Mountains and um, here's the label and it was found 1887 it's in Tennessee and um, here we have the meteorite and uh, the uh, <clears throat> metal phase, of course that's the shiny metallic one and then we have uh, some silicates in there maybe also some troilite and here is some larger silicate material and uh, this is a mixed meteorite, it's a mesosiderite as it's called so here I'll put a little bit of extra light on it and then you can kind of see how the metal reflects the light And we would expect that uh, material like this is still widely available out there in the asteroid belt. So uh, I'll turn this around now. Here's the other side. If you find this <clears throat> out in the field, it, it might look like a rusty uh, regular rock, but uh, obviously the density is very different and it should be magnetic. And uh, this is uh, some of these easier ways of how you can identify a rock that could potentially be a meteorite. The longer it lies on the surface of uh, the planet, the more it interacts with the hydrosphere and the atmosphere. And then uh, we get rusty crust. And here we see a bit of the rusty brown material. And this is, of course, not something that would be out there in the asteroid belt, but uh, this is. Uh, uh, most likely um, uh, material that formed while this particular meteor was lying on the ground. And um, I'll turn around once more. So here we see that uh, the intergrowth between um, the different metal alloys is not quite as refined as we've seen in some of the other meteorites, like in the beautiful Cape York meteorite. So this may not come from the very interior of one of these planetesimals. It might be a little bit further out where cooling was a bit more rapid, or it may come from a much smaller little planetary body as opposed to the Cape York material.